In this video, we'll go through the next steps we have to take towards preparing our new 2008 server for our new domain controller. Now, we've just renamed the server to Demo Server. Uh, it had a generated uh, name that didn't mean much to us, and so we renamed it. It's now rebooted, and uh, you'll notice that it's changed. Uh, this screen comes up for the system, and also the uh, initial configuration text tasks screen also comes up. Now, we're just using this as a demo, so we're not going to activate it at this time, but we are going to go through and we can set the time zone. Um, the time zone is obviously something that needs to be set, and later when we go to do updates on join machines to the domain, this will absolutely have to be set correctly or it won't work correctly. So we'll set it for Eastern Time. Uh, the time is correct. Go ahead and click OK here and then we're going to configure networking. Now, rather than doing uh, DHCP, which is what it's on now, we want this to be our server, and so we're going to set this as a static IP. Another thing we're going to do is this other network card that's in this server, it has two of them, we're going to go ahead and disable this one. It's not being used, um, and it's just going to generate errors later if we leave it enabled. Now, there are times to use two network cards, but for our purposes, we're going to leave just one network card enabled. So we'll go in here and we'll go to properties and we're just worried about TCP IP version 4. So we'll type in our settings here. Obviously you'll put in settings that mean something for your network. Uh, for us this setting works. That's our gateway. Now our preferred DNS server. Right now this isn't going to work but in the next couple of steps we're going to go through and we're going to set up DNS on this server and it's going to be its own DNS server. It'll need to point to itself in that scenario. So we're going to use the same IP address that we used up here uh, and it may change it to a 127 number so that it actually loops back to itself. For right now we're just going to leave it pointing towards itself. Click on OK. OK again. This will go ahead and save its settings. And once it does, we'll close out of here. Okay, now that our network address has changed, we're going to close this out. And we'll close this out. And what we want to do is we want to make this a domain server. And so we're going to stop it. 